Whoa, what the, what just happened? When cones turn bad. Hello gamers, welcome back to the Umbar Arcade and welcome back to our complete series of Gran Turismo Sport GT League. And today we're in our lovely bright yellow wasp coloured Ford GT full of V8 American power and we're going to need all of the horsepower that it's got because today we are in the Premium Sports Lounge which is pretty much the only championship in Gran Turismo League that makes this car look short on horsepower. This is a championship full of road cars that cost over 10 million credits. Although I don't think this cost over 10 million credits, so I'm not sure what the game's playing out with that. And, uh, yeah, do you remember, like, the, the likes of the, our nemesis, the Veyron, from the last episode? Uh, cars like the Lamborghini Venenio? Venenio? I, I, cars like that, basically. The, the Ferrari, the Ferrari, all the sort of thousand horsepower, or close to thousand horsepower, super hyper god cars, uh, and arses in Lexuses. What are you doing here? I mean, seriously, what are you doing in this championship? Um, yeah, it's full of all of those, basically. And unlike the last series, which was mostly kind of twisty handling focus race tracks, as you can see, we're starting on an oval. So appropriate that the day after the Daytona 500, we're oval racing, and I'm not doing a very good job at it. Well, there we go. Um, anyway, hopefully I won't have to throw any Arag Almirola style blocks. Hey-o. Um, but uh, yeah, this is an interesting championship. This is some of the uh, supercars from the last championship cranked up to 11 somewhat and given a lot of high-speed tracks to play with. So we're on an oval straight away. This car has 550 horsepower. Only 550. And that's not a lot compared to its rivals. It also has an absolute blithering idiot driving it. But never mind. So, the strategy is here, though. Uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see. And you can't see with the front. And I don't know if you can just see behind the speedo at the bottom there. You may be able to see there's no grooves on the tires I'm running. That's because I'm running racing slick tires. Yeah, the uh, nothing said it, nothing in the rules said that I couldn't use racing tires for this series. So that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm trying to have a look at that guy in the Porsche. I can't see if he's running racing tires. May well be the, the AI are also using racing tires. But hey, do you know what? I'm going to need every advantage I can get if I'm down almost half horsepower on some of my main opponents. Oh, don't try and pinch me down there. There you go. I am past you, sir. Or ma'am, I guess. I, I didn't notice that technically, because we don't know the first names of the other drivers in this... <laughs> Look at the grip we've got! We've just managed that guy in the XKR, round the outside. XKR? F-Type. F-Type R, that's what I meant to say. Going back in time a little bit there, AJ. You sh showing your age there with the reference of the Jags you're referencing there. Um, I said reference a lot in that last sentence. Let's move on. Anyway. So yeah, basically, thing is, obviously Blue Moon Bay... Oh, God! It is, it's built by God, yes. Uh, now we're up behind a Honda NSX. Fun fact, I actually tried using a Honda NSX in the last, oh god, in the last championship. And uh, as you can see, it's a little bit unstable. It's very heavy, because though that hybrid engine is amazing, it is very heavy. So it was quite weighty, it struggled to handle, and I actually didn't win a single race with it. Finished second in most of them. And that was, that was without the Bugatti Veyron Terminators. Um, so god knows what it would have been like had the Veyrons gone full Terminator mode. So, um, as far as I know, the uh, Veyron T1000s are still up the road, so we have to hunt them down to save the human race. Forget Adam Johnson today, I am John Connor. Adam Johnson Connor, or something like that. Anyway. So the useful thing about this, because even though it's an oval, there are... it's not a flat-out oval, it's not effectively a super speedway. You've got to break quite a lot for the first corner, a little bit for turn three, nothing for turn two, so... As you can see, we're about a third of the way through, and we have gained. We did start the race about 34 seconds behind the leaders. We're now 25. Even so, I'm probably not expecting to win this one, but we'll see what happens. This is Grand Turismo Sport. Very, very much stranger things have happened. This is basically its own series of stranger things at this point. Would also help if I could do the final corner. There we go. Nice. Hook it up in the high groove there. It's very nice. And uh, talking of the Daytona 500, I did actually watch the finish of the Daytona 500. Uh, those of you all curious as to what's happened with Team... <laughs> the people are like, when's Team Bomber Sports coming back? It, uh, not for a while. And, uh, are you still watching NASCAR? No. Uh, but I did watch the end of the 500, and, uh, I became an instant fan of Bobble Wallace. I had heard of the guy before, I knew him, I kind of liked him, but... Seeing him finish second, and then all the stuff with, like, hugging his mom in the press conference after, and just being an absolute boss, I was like, I like this guy. He could tempt me in to start watching NASCAR again week to week, so watch this space, I may just do that. But, uh, for now... We are driving NASCAR, or NASCAR-style 
So shredding past the Dodge Viper on the inside. Adam McLaren MP4 Dash 12C. The guy is headbutting his dashboard as I just breeze. Oh, we're running the Kyle Larson line right up against the wall. Goodness me. But uh, I'll tell you what, the racing tyres are really delivering the goods. Once we get back to the road courses, because the, uh, the other two tracks in this series are... Uh, uh, Maggiore is the second one. I can't remember what the third one is. Oh, Tokyo Expressway, uh, east in a loop. So the really long, the, the one with the really long front straight down a highway. So, uh, I'm just going around the outside of you, mate. You're in a Lamborghini Huracan 610 dot dash dot 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 dash Morse code edition. And I've just schooled you around the outside in a car about 10 years older than you. I mean, why are you still driving? P. Lambert, Paul Lambert, aren't you a football manager? You, just because you can afford a supercar on your football manager wages doesn't mean you can then think you can race it, as I'm also breezing past this guy. So yeah, um, as you can tell, very standard for a uh, Gran Turismo race. We're up to fourth, and yet the top three are miles away! Literally miles away. I can see cars in the distance, but I assume some of them are lap cars. So uh, we'll see what we can do here. We are just over halfway in this race. And uh, I'm slowly getting the hang of these corners, but not really, not really at all. Let's go on board with the... Oh, God, there we go. Let's go on board with God. And I tell you what, the way we're going, should be able to catch the leaders. It uh, just depends when they activate their uh, Max Verstappen T-1000 modes. There is a Veyron up the road, so we know there is at least one T-1000 waiting for us. And we'll know exactly when we've passed it, because we'll just hear a, you have to be terminated, or something like that. Oh, 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 Meanwhile, you'll just hear that from me. All right, so I'm going a Ferrari F40. Fun fact, I tested out the F40 when it was released in the latest patch. It's rubbish. <laughs> it really is. Like, it's not even that fast. The brakes... Does it have brakes? I really don't think it does. Like, the thing is with this Ford GT, I was really surprised. This, overall, is actually a much better... I prefer driving this car a hell of a lot more than the Honda NSX. Which is weird to me. The Honda NSX is more uh, modern. It's full drive. It's got a hybrid system. You know, powerful engine. You'd think it would be better, but th no, this is just better. It accelerates. Believe it or not, it kind of... I don't think it accelerates quite as fast, but it has a better top speed. It's 200 kilos lighter. So it's... Whoa, look at the drift there from the BMW. Very nice. I approve. Um, you are a lap down, though, so... Yeah, I mean, maybe he has just given up on this race. He's just like, I'm going to get some style points now. The if do Whoa. More lap traffic to negotiate. I mean, really? Really? Why did you guys show up to this race? I mean, I feel like I'm, I'm under-equipped to win this race. And I turned up in an actual supercar. I didn't just turn up in the same car I used to go to work. Don't even, I don't even have a BMW M4 to drive to work. <laughs> that would be quite a nice car to take to work. Oh, hello, though. Hang on. I don't think the next car is a lap car somehow. I think it is the Lamborghini, which would mean, typically, the Veyron's out in front. The blood feud with the Veyron T1000s is continuing, folks. We've got to hunt that sucker down. So, Fabre in the Lamborghini is about one and a half seconds. Well, no, I, I forget that. I can see the gap. Oh, we're just round the... Oh, you're getting rinsed, son. Get wrecked, son. Just goodbye and good night. Pass the SLS. Sorry, Kenny Omega. Um, so, here's the thing. I mean, that the, the Lamborghini Ven Veneno? Ven Venato? I can't remember what it's called. Um... It, it has, I think, about 709 horsepower, so not that much more than us. And, oh, hello! That is a distinctly Veyron-shaped car I spy on the horizon there. Just putting a lap car between us. Not that that's going to do anything. It's that guy in the F-Type. I passed you twice in one race, and the race is only 15 laps long. And we're on lap 11. How do you feel? How do you feel? You're driving far too nice a car. Your car is far too nice for your talents. Oh, meanwhile, though. Meanwhile. Ha ha! Shoes on the other foot now, motherfucker. I'm here with dual shotguns. I'm a chain gun. Ready to take down the robots. Look at you there. With your nearly thousand horsepower. And I'm just slipstreaming you, mate. And now you're gonna have to break. Look how early he's breaking for this corner. Look at it. Look at him. Oh, go on. Yeah. How'd you feel now? Time's a fucking turn now, bitch. <laughs> Gonna enjoy this, I think. Actually, I've got to be careful because he may just suddenly go, Ooh, hang on, what's this I spy? It is Max Verstappen T1000. <laughs> that <laughs> noise is him just like fucking off into the distance, which he is trying to do. As you can see there, I mean, almost double the horsepower of me. You would expect him to do that. But then <laughs> it all just disappears. Look at this. 
This game makes no sense. How was this car faster by about two seconds a lap than a KTM crossbow at some of the twistiest road courses in this game? And now on a simple oval, it it's all over the place. It's like watching a whale on wheels. All right, here we go. How early do you want to break for this corner, you peanut? That's the guy in the Honda NSX again. Look at him there. Stay, stay to this. Get out the way. Out of the way. Do you want me to pull an Austin Dillon on your ass? Because I will happily do that. After you and your Veyron brethren, the treatment of me in my last championship, my Expo is still licking its wounds back at base. Although, much better off after that epic final win. Oh, sparks flying! Ah, oh, the nostalgia blinded F1 fans will love that. Oh, oh god. More sparks flying. I decided to contribute. Right, here we go. We'll be coming to two laps to go this time. You just. Look at you, just wallowing around there. What are you doing? What are you doing, sir? You're driving one of the fastest, most expensive road cars ever built by mankind and you're just sort of wobbling around in it like, I don't know someone trying to drive their BMW X5 through Chelsea uh, market or something I'm really showing my London knowledge get out of the way <laughs> the bomb and run into the first corner right, we've got two laps to go we are seven seconds ahead of second place and I really don't think his Vax his, his Vax Vax Mustapen his Vax Mustapen button is, is not working yeah, neither is his Max Verstappen button, believe it or not. But uh, anyway, right, we're gonna have to make our pass probably at here now or at turn one. Here we go, here we go. Right around the outside. Oh, look at this! Look at this. look at you! Look at you! You absolute state! You're a mess, mate. Look at you there. It's got wrecked. I just ran the Larson line right round your ass. Oh, look, you're gonna slip through me. You're gonna slip through me. Oh, look at me. I've got a billion horsepower. Yeah. Yeah, but up here, something called a corner, mate. I'm in an American car. And I'm not panicking. You, on the other hand, having a full-on panic attack, and I'm just gonna peach down there. No! No, what's the- No! What's the Porsche doing? You blithering idiot! The bl bloody Porsche's trying to ruin my- Get out of the way! Get out of the way! No! You absolute penis! This absolute twat in the Porsche! No! That guy's cost me this race, I swear to God. We no, stay calm, we still have the final corner. He's breaking at this corner. Are you still- Oh! The bump and run! He tries to throw the block! Is this going to be like the end of the Daytona 500 all over again? Uh, no, it's not. Because <laughs> he's just screamed and lost all speed. <laughs> it's the final corner. Here we go. I'll tell you what, though. We've got to be careful. He's going to have the speed advantage of the final corner. But it is not going to matter. It doesn't matter what horsepower you have. Because I have beaten your ass. I've beaten your candy asses. <coughs> Sorry. I just turned into the rock there briefly. But anyway, we have taken a first win at the Premium Sports Lounge. We beat the Veyron T1000 by 1.232 seconds, which is a much, it's, 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 a, it's a yawning chasm compared to the winning margin in the uh, last race last time out. So with that, we're going to have a celebratory sip of tea. Mm. And good tea it is as well. I'm going to relish my massive winnings, given I've got a car handicap of plus 90%. Nobody tell the game I was actually on racing tyres. But anyway, let's move on to the next race, shall we? Mm. I'm just having a biscuit. Mm. Mm. Bollocks. Didn't time that well. Anyway, had some sips of tea. I've had a nice refreshing chocolate biscuit. And we're now into round two of the Premium Sports Lounge. And uh, <laughs> what a drama Maggiore. It's the full layout of this track, and we're going to be going in for eight laps. And uh, we are... how far behind the leaders are we? Let's see the... oh my god, the mountains deficit we've got to make up. We've passed some arse in an SLS already. I don't know if it actually is just a pair of butt cheeks sat in the driver's seat. I find it quite hard to steer, but then again, we explain his atrocious performance. But anyway, some good news to start off this race. There's no Veyrons in this race. So obviously the, uh, the Veyron Terminator army have had to go back and regroup. They've gone back to Skynet to try and uh, design some improvements to their Veyron T-1000 bots. Meanwhile, I'm on the outside of some bloke in a Mercedes. Actually, oh no. Oh my god, sorry. I've, I didn't realise the gap to the leader hadn't stopped climbing. It's now at 55, nearly 56 seconds. We're starting nearly a minute behind the leaders. Thankfully though, we do have 10 laps. And I'm very glad I kept the racing soft tyres on. So let's go, let's do this. Shredding through the field already. Now I wonder if, in lieu of there being no Veyrons in this race, there is a Luf uh, the Ferrari, the Ferrari on pole, but there is also Ferrari Enzo in second. There we go, uh, in second place. So I wonder if that car is going to be the Rabbit Mobile 
the, uh, the robot of this race, the Terminator of this race, if you will. Meanwhile, I'll tell you what, I did try this car out for potential use in the last championship, the MR Challenge. And this car does handle pretty well. It is pretty lively under acceleration, as you'd expect with a car of 550 horsepower and a massive V8 engine. Which eats entire petrol stations, uh, just casually, just for a trip to work and back. Oh god. Eh. Yeah, I've got a really itchy nose. Do you ever get that, where you just like, suddenly something gets really itchy when you've got both hands, both hands are tied, you know? Like, you don't have a hand free, just like, randomly your nose will start really itching. Like, feels like it's gonna sneeze, hang on. Right, straight line, there we go. There we go, driving this car with one hand at the moment, scratching my nose with the other, there we go, that's fine. My nose's been duly scratched. And I'm still passing guys, driving with one hand. <laughs> one hand, where cone, whoa, there we go. You know what I said about the lively rear end? <laughs> I tell you what, I almost wish Gran Turismo had more tyre smoke for its drifting. Because at the moment, like, Project Cars 2 has too much. Like, just normally going round the corner as any other race driver would. And there's like clouds of smoke behind you. It's like you've, it's like you fucking Ken Block or something. In this game, you can be full on like... Just, no, nothing. Smokeless tyres. Anyway. Worth pointing out, we have already shredded uh, about... 20 seconds off the lead gap. 20 sec- it was 56 seconds last time through here. It's now 38 seconds. So, um, yeah. I'm- I'm not playing ball this time around. I'm not playing the- no more Mr. Nice Guy. After last week's events. No more Mr. Nice Guy. No more Mr. Oh, I'm gonna try and be competitive. Yeah, AI is a bit terrible, so I'm gonna downplay to them and make it kind of interesting. Not anymore. The AI bit back and bit back hard. And I have no idea what they could be planning next, so... Yeah, fuck it. I ain't doing that anymore. And whoever is out in front, probably wish he was in a Veyron right now. Because it may be the only chance he'd have of winning this race. So for me in this kind of form. Look at it! Look at the gap! My god. Right, anyway, excuse me. Just belched on the microphone there. Sorry about that. <laughs> Very rude there. R.I.P. headphone users. Oh! <laughs> So what I get when I actually drink tea during videos. So many times when I'm actually when I'm playing these games, I'll make myself a cup of tea, and then like sip it once on a loading screen, and then oh my god, what is it about this end of the track that makes my nose start itching? Yeah, is it a ploy? Is there a lot of pollen down here? Yeah, I've never even suffered with hay fever in my life, but yeah, it's, I mean it's not really working. I'm still passing guys whilst nearly sneezing. <laughs> so oh, here we go. Right, get out of my way. I'm trying to scratch my nose. No, not my ass. You dirty prick. Shut up. Right. Here we go. Here we go. Ah, oh, that's better. There we go. Oop, don't crash into the spectators. They wouldn't appreciate that. That'd be some excuse to try and give to the uh, to the marshals and the press after the race. You're in the press conference, like, well, AJ, you crashed out of this race. Uh, you just, you just, your car just seemed to veer right on the straightaway. What happened? Um, oh, God. well, I would like to tell you that it was a, a blown tire, uh, but but no, it was actually me taking my hands off the steering wheel to scratch my nose. Uh, and why was why were you doing that? Because I thought I was going to sneeze. Isn't that why you normally scratch your nose? Who knows where I'm going now? Cone, there we go. I think what's hilarious is that I'm shredding into the leader's lead. Like, the lead advantage is just diminishing by the second. And I'm not even driving that well. Oh God, driving that well. I'm just sort of driving along, trying not to sneeze. Trying not to crash, and... <laughs> Maybe racing soft tyres was a little bit of overkill for this one, but again, I didn't know. You know, I, I don't trust the AI anymore to not suddenly go full batshit. Oh my god, I'm amazing, I'm the greatest race driver ever made, and I've beaten you by 20 seconds. But you were in 10th place, and I passed you before. And before you suddenly went god tier, you were lapping 5 seconds a lap slower than me. Yeah, but now I'm lapping 12 seconds faster than lap you. Eat it, prick. Basically, the AI in this game is the equivalent of those annoying kids at school who, when you were playing gun game or something, would randomly keep inventing an everything-proof shield and then quickly didn't realise that, that was why they had no friends. I mean, I didn't have any friends at school, but that may have been for other reasons. But <laughs> that may have been for just generally other reasons, to be honest. It may, be, may just be because I hate people, so I was okay. <laughs> it was like, you don't have any friends at school, how sad. No. I don't like people anyway, so that's fine. Um, oh, come on, there we go. Right, and we're at this end of the track, and I don't feel like I need to sneeze. So, way, there we go. And we're up to fourth place already. My god, this is going to be a beatdown, isn't it? This is a bad race beatdown <laughs> on Grand Turismo Sport GT League. <laughs> Premium Sports Lounge Race 2. It's like Pit. 
Oh my god, I could pit and change tyres at this point. If I get the lead before lap five, I'm gonna pit and change tyres. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to like racing hard or something. Or just, just pit in general. Just to make it a vaguely interesting race. Maybe the ultimate form of mockery. Well, that answers my question from earlier. S. Beck. You, uh, oh, uh, are, you, are you serious? Are you serious? Are you serious? <laughs> I'm actually throwing cones at you, mate. Throwing cones at you. I'm disrespecting you. This is basically Gran Turismo's equivalent of teabagging your corpse. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm actually teabagging Esbeck in the Enzo Ferrari, flinging cones at him. You're just an embarrassment, mate. I've passed you already. You were nearly you were nearly a minute up the road four laps ago. <sighs> Dearie me. Anyway, again, you can't Oh no! I can't do these corners apparently. You see how terrible I'm driving like shit as well. <laughs> That's what's amazing. I'm not even driving particularly well. So then again, after the stress of the last episode, I'm, I'm not complaining about that. And uh, the leader's in a The Ferrari, The Ferrari, which in the midship challenge went about as well as a dog with rabies. The The Ferrari's The Ferrari, the, the Ferrari, The Ferrari drivers may as well have actually been riding dogs with rabies. And, um, well, dude, I'm already behind you. We're not even halfway in the race. Um, do you want to do this the easy way, or should we do it dog style? I mean, uh, the hard way. Here we go. This time I'm gonna let it all come out. This time I'm gonna stand up and shout. Off and do things my way. It's my way. My way on the highway. Someday you'll see things my way. Cause you never know, cause you never know when you can't drive. Someday you'll try things my way. Cause you never know, cause you never know when you're gonna win. When you're gonna win. Anyway. So I've just got my WrestleMania X8 on there for a second, and uh, <laughs> I managed to sing Limp Biscuit badly whilst passing the leader. That's how dominant I am in this race. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm already, I'm already just charging away. Can you actually pit in these races? I assume so. Maybe you just don't, you don't actually make a pit stop. Maybe you just go through the pits. But uh, right, pit in. Oh no, my tires are delaminating. Well, I've not been given any uh, pit options, so yeah, no, I don't think I'm actually pitting. I'm just. I'm just serving a drive through penalty. Yeah, um, yeah, oh, yeah, the, uh, the, the, the race officials have, uh, given me a drive through penalty for bad singing. Bad singing on their radios. Um, the, uh, race director was like, can you shut up on my radio? Don't want to have to listen to you singing Bad Limp Biscuit." Anyway, I tried to convince him that it was actually a banger tune. And then he was like, well, it doesn't matter if it's the greatest song of all time. It doesn't matter if it's Bohemian Rhapsody. If it's sung by you, it will be atrocious. And, uh, then I cried. Uh, so, anyway. A story in three acts, folks. And anyway, we're only five seconds behind the leader. We literally have to pit every single lap until the end of the race to make it vaguely competitive. <laughs> Deary me. Anyway, so, uh, although, now may have been the moment that he uh, hit the... Oh, no. <laughs> I suddenly realised that the gap's completely gone down. It seems that the Ferrari, the Ferrari does not have a T1000 setting, which is bizarre, because if anything, it should probably handle a bit better than the Veyron, I think. Isn't it four-wheel drive? And, like, lighter? Stuff like that, so... It's more modern, I know that, and... Uh, <laughs> uh, tell you what. I've been threatening to do this all series. It's time for a cone demolition derby. Cone. Oh, no, missed that one. I'll, I'll get it next lap. Oh, go on. What about this one? What about this one? Yeah, there you go. Whoops. Bounce off the wall there. Never mind. <laughs> Flying over there. Flying over yonder. I mean, what does it say about the race leader's lack of talent? That... The second place guy is easily keeping with him, whilst I'm also veering off to knock over cones. Oh, how have you survived this long? Get banged, mate. Goodbye. Do a bit of rallying. There we go. Nice. This is like those modes in the old driver games. Oh, that one's a bit tricky. I'll, I'll leave that to next lap. This is like the old modes in the driver games, where you had to knock over all the cones in like a certain... They were like lined up in a certain order. And you had to knock all of them down to uh, like... Keep the, uh, keep the clock from hitting zero. It's kind of like that at the moment. Oh, missed that one. I'm, he's not even getting away. He isn't even getting away. I am literally twatting around behind him. I am not trying. I have given up. I'm not even doing a motor race anymore. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, let's just rally down here. No, miss that one. Oh, bollocks. Missed them all. Pokemon, gotta miss them all. Let's see if we can hit that one. No, missed it. Bollocks. Oh, never mind. He, he's still there. He's, he's been three seconds ahead of me the entire lap. Right, here we go. All the speed We've got two here. There we go. Oh, two there. And then another one. Oh, got it. Oops. We really have fallen off there. Whoops. There we go. 
Oh, oh, whoa, nice one, Ford. <laughs> Wee. Uh, oh, bit more rallying, bit more rallying. You may now be gapping us a little bit now, but but not that much. There's another one. There we go. Ping. And then over here, here we go. Ooh. What's it called? Was it called Trailblazer? Oh, I've lost second place. <laughs> not that, it, not that I have to work hard to get it back. Probably just click my fingers. I'll get it back. There we go. There's another one. And then another one. I'm, I'm. If you're wondering, is he actually going to try and knock down every single cone on this racetrack? The answer is yes. Yes, that's exactly what I'm going to do. So, uh, where's the next one? Where's the next victim? Oh, there's two here. Ah, oh, double bonus times two. Oh, gone. Oh, no, gonna miss that one. We'll get in the next lap. What about this one? What about this one? Yeah, there you go. Oh, can we get back across for this one? Yeah. I mean, I'm in fourth gear with no RPM, so yes. Come on, there we go. And a couple more over here. Oh, three more over here. Bing, there we go. Way. Wee! <laughs> the other drivers are literally just like, what are these orange shapes flying around? Oh, don't worry, it's just AJ arsing around collecting all the cones. Well, when you say collecting, yeah, we know. Anyway. Oh no! Yeah! Oh yes! Me drift! I hit a cone there, lovely work. Well, uh, I've got most of the cones for the rest of the lap, so I can afford to actually, you know, regain some of my lost positions. Such, I mean, it'll take such a long time to do that, won't it? Um, such a long time that I'm actually about to do that immediately. G can, you, can you accelerate, please? You have nearly 200 more horsepower. Oh, go on. Get over there. Get over there. Whoa! Bit more rallying, bit more rallying, bit more... No, I have completely spun there. Have completely spun there. Have completely spun there. I'm a bit dizzy. Might be about to puke. And I am now actually losing a few more positions, so... Oh no, there's another cone. There we go. Whoa, what the... What just happened? <laughs> when cones turn bad. <laughs> what the shit was that? The evil Knievel of cones over here. Anyway, let's, uh... Let's go on board for a bit, and uh, let's actually focus on... We are now actually 25 seconds behind the leader after all that, so we may have got our challenge, after all. Completely by accident. If I now lose this race, oh my god. I'll never hear the end of it in the comments. But, before I do that, a few more cones to wrap up. There we go. Oh, can we get that one? Can we get that one? Oh, no, I think we... Oh, we got it! Yes! There we go. Oh, there's one over there. We'll leave you to later. For now, he's back to the serious business. Do-do-do. Nice on board. I tell you what, the interiors are nice. They've always been good in the GT games. And I do appreciate the fact that in GT Sport, they didn't just want to recycle a bunch of the uh, GT5 and 6 cars that were based on actually assets from GT4. And most of them didn't even have interior, so you were just driving around in like a bat cave or something. So, um, you do. Oh, nice. Spinning up the rear tyres there. And then maybe a bit more. Yeah, oh, look at this. Whee! <laughs> this really is more like a driver game at this point. <laughs> I'm power sliding, I'm knocking over cones. All I need now is a billion police cars behind me. Oh, that, could, that will probably be arranged by circuit security after the race. Oh, no, 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 oh, I just missed that one. I'll get it later, never mind. I was too busy actually passing a car. That radical thing that one does in motor races when they're not arsing around. So much for being outpowered. <laughs> so much for lacking horsepower to my opponents. I mean, yeah, like I said, I thought the racing soft tires might be overkill for this race, but I mean, come on. Guys, I mean, really, really, really. <laughs> anyway, and the lead's already back down to 12 seconds. So, um, <laughs> there goes any pretense of this race being interesting or there being any sort of tension over whether I might win it or not. There's third and second. I've already caught back up to them. Like, really, guys, can you, can you start trying? I almost want your cars to have T1000 buttons on them rather than old biddy going to the pinball. Pinball? Uh, bingo. I've actually, I've actually need to crash this guy. Oh, whoa! Trying to spin me Oh, What is going on? They're just arsing around as well. They've given up. Is this the come to racing while drunk day? Is this like a sort of don't drink and drive safety awareness day? Is this what I'm in the middle of? Let's demonstrate in a safe environment the consequences of drink driving. Actually, they're not the real consequences because they're nowhere near as, like, sad and harrowing and brutal. They're just kind of funny, which is not the real consequence of it. Oh, there's a cone over there. Yes! Yes! There we go. By my count, there's only two cones left unknocked over on the entire track. So, uh, if I can do that... Honestly, I think I deserve a bonus. If I do that and still win the race, which which looks likely, I'm already less than seven seconds behind the leader with three laps to go. Um, I think I should get a bonus, to be honest. I really, I really think you should. 
I think it should be like, um... What game was it where they'd be like... Oh, it was one of the old Micro Machines games on, like, Mega Drive, where you could find hidden lives and secret areas if you deliberately veered off track. Like, you basically have to sacrifice a race and be like... Oh, there were some tracks where you had to go all the way off track to find extra lives, but then you'd normally use that life up again because you lost so much time. Oh, get it, get it, get it, get it. No! No! We'll get it next lap, I promise. But anyway, you, yeah, you use up so much time going and finding the hidden lives that you'd end up losing the race and having to use that life up anyway. Maybe that was the point. I'm just going to go over here now. Not even following the road because this asshole can't drive his very expensive Ferrari. Incidentally, I am planning to use the, the Ferrari, the Ferrari for the uh, La Vesta Cavallina. Where are you going? Where are you going? Track is over here. You donut. I mean, what this is a nice demonstration of is that the AI also suffered from what I was talking about in the last episode, where a lot of high-powered supercar, like, road cars are... Oh, there's a cone there! I'm knocked down. Okay. Remember that for next lap, AJ. Uh, yeah, where was I? Oh, yeah, um... Yeah, the, the whole, like, supercars are actually not that fun to drive in these games because, you know, they have all the power of race cars, but none of the, like, handling or lightness or actually good qualities of a... Seriously. 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 Sort of just grumbling at the back of your car. Look at you there. Look at you. Is this a drifting competition? Do you want do you want to throw down? Okay, do you want to drift? Okay, I'm gonna drift. Right. It's time for the annual D1 Championships. The D1 Grand Truismo Championships. This is an event you did not know about in GT League. Here we go. Oh. No, oh, oh that was the gear shift button, sorry. Now I've crashed into my opponent. I'm not a very good drifter. There is actually a drifting mode in this game, which I haven't touched, but this is probably uh, some decent practice for it. Or not, because I'm terrible. Right. Here we go. And then... Oh, yeah, look at that. And then... Go on, up the inside. Yeah, what have you got, mate? I'm still passing you. <laughs> you hear the wheel spin off his car. Have you... Have you... Are you, like, trying to show that you're, like, a pro race driver to your mates by turning off all the assists? Look, look at this arse. This absolute twat. <laughs> this absolute helmet. Anyway, where was I? Oh yeah, drifting. Oh, hang on, one of the cones is up here. I haven't hit yet. So, bring it in. Yeah, there you go. And a celebratory drift, lovely. He's still drifting off over there. I'm drifting off to sleep. <laughs> this is most of the people watching this video, probably. <laughs> it's been the race so uncompetitive, I basically had to arse around for over half the race. Deary me. Anyway, I still, I still have two laps to go. Polyphony, why make races this long if they're going to be this easy? Why? You're, just, you're not making it any more challenging. Like, why are you making races longer than the last series and the AI doesn't have the sudden ability to turn into Earth and Senna reincarnated? So, like, why? Why do that? You're just adding unnecessary time for me to hit cones. Oh god, drifting, drifting, drifting! Yeah, lovely! Lovely power slide there as well. This is absolute twat nugget. Still continues on his way, desperately being like, Now I can drive my expensive supercar! <laughs> Honest! This is how you drive race cars real fast, bruv! Man! Oh, where are you going? Alright, meanwhile, I'm going over here to hit a cone. So there we go. Oh, there's one left over here. Is this the last one? It might be. If it is, I have now fixed efficient... Blah. Officially knocked over every single cone on the racetrack. And then for lap 10, I will officially go back to trying and then seeing how much I can gap this fool in a single lap. I mean, like I say, I may have an advantage in using racing tyres, but there was nothing in the rules to say I couldn't. There we go. I think that's the last cone hit. Bit of drifting. And I'm going to start giving a shit about this race again in three, two. No, I'm going to simulate driving down the highway. Here we go. And then three, two, one. Downshift, the way we go! And he's... I've already caught straight back up. <laughs> Would've been hilarious if I if I just trod along and then by the first turn I was already caught back up to him. I mean, I basically have. I basically have. <laughs> I mean, seriously. It, it, I mean, it gets to the point, I mean, you know, probably manufacturers don't care because their cars just in the game and people get to drive them and that's nice, but... It doesn't exactly make the, the Ferrari look that good of a car if the AI have got one of the greatest cars ever made and it's just sort of floundering around and blithering about like a sort of Ford Model T 
in the bath. It would have to be a very big bath, I don't know where I'm going with that. Anyway, back up the inside, and we're through to the lead. So, just to eliminate any lingering tension this race might have, let's, uh, let's shut it down, shall we? Right, let's focus. If he suddenly gets good now, if he suddenly gets good now, I swear to God. I swear to God. Uh, no, he hasn't. No, can confirm. Can confirm that the Ferrari, the Ferrari, has not even half filled his Max Verstappenometer. So, uh, we're out of here, basically. Whoa, bit of understeer there. Ooh, here we go. So, this is what's called actually pushing to the limits in this race. I haven't done it the entire race. Because, quite frankly, I haven't had to. Also, because I've knocked over all the cones, I now have no references for any of my braking points. So, that's fun. <laughs> and, uh, we're already... <laughs> Bye! See you later! It was nice hanging out with you, watching as you embarrassed yourself over and over. If whoa, a little bit of a power slide. Oh god! We're now driving like the AI. <laughs> I'm already 1.2 seconds faster than my fastest lap. It's come through the uh, the pollen polluted final sector. Do you pollute something with pollen? I don't know. Whoa, no! No! No, hang on! Get, get, get back on the track! What are you doing, you donut? You stupid car! Right, get back on the track, there we go. Oh, dearie me. Why was I even... AJ, why were you worried? Why? Why were you worried? He's still back there. I'm just going to put it into sixth gear across the line. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh... That was, um... Easy. And, um... Just going to finish with tea now. As a dear Lacey, is the Ferrari there? Realizes that he's just been so publicly embarrassed that uh, Ferrari are going to be in touch now, uh, demanding their car back because they didn't realize they were giving it to such an untalented cretin. Mm. Meantime, though, on to the final round. Let's hope it's a little bit more competitive. So here we go then, the final round of the Premium Sports Lounge. We're in the Tokyo Expressway East Inner Loop, I think it is. We're going the wrong way around the track, which I've never done before, and it's at night. So, um, yeah, as much as the last race was kind of a one-sided beatdown, I've kept the racing soft tyres, because not only is this track all about really long straights, uh, it, it's also at night on a layout that I've never done before. And... <laughs> Sorry! Sorry, I left me braking a bit late there. Sorry about that. Actually, what? Hang on, what layout is this? Wait a minute. This is... No, no, no. Oh, no, this is a different layout altogether. I've never driven this layout before. Okay. Okie dokie. This might be where things get interesting. Just by dint that I've never driven this track before. Now I am grateful for those racing soft tires. Seriously, I thought this was just the same layout as the, uh... As the other loop. Oh, no, this combines both the... Both sort of outer and inner loop versions of the Tokyo Expressway track. So that is interesting. Okay. Reflecting lights on the outside there. Does look beautiful at night, this game. Really does. And uh, as, you, as you expect, Gran Turismo, it's basically the selling point in the game. It looks really nice and the physics are really nice and realistic and but still good to drive. It's basically every game. The reason why I've been so disappointed with some Gran Turismo games, particularly six, was that they were no more than that and some of the really glaring issues they hadn't bothered to fix. At least in GT Sport they have fixed some of the issues, like the fucking god-awful sound design. Anyway, we are about... we started out about 50 seconds behind the leaners again. We are now down to about 44 seconds, so we're not gaining anywhere near as quickly as in the last race. And that's what I really thought. This track, it's not quite as twisty as Maggiore. And there's a lot more long straights like this one, where the leaders are going to have an advantage. And oh yeah, there's a Bugay Veyron in this race. So, um... Out the way, lads. Oh, I have no time to be hanging around and cutting promos on you today. Or tonight, I should say. Tonight, a man drives a car. Another man drives another car. And a third man drives a third car. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, so we have only cut about six seconds into the lead on the first lap. So, we're going to have to step this up. I'm going to have to get good at this track and quick. And the top speed of this car is about 205, which is okay, but... Just start breaking now for this corner. Still not enough. Still not enough. Still not enough. I'm just going to go off over here now. Now that's perfectly the racing line for that corner. 
Still made up about two seconds on the car, on the leaders through that corner alone, so it's got to be working in some way. Anyway, I love, I mean, I tell you what, it's such a hallmark of the Gran Turismo games. These sort of fictional city-based tracks. Like, it, this track obviously harkens back to, like, Special Stage Route 5 and that. But wasn't this, wasn't there also a Special Stage Route 7 in uh, GT5 and 6? That was all, like, down closed, like, multiple highways and things like that. Similar sort of setting to this. This is more like a full-on racetrack that they've built, not like a just high-speed loop. Uh, I say just. Special Stage Route 7 was still really awesome. But, um, anyway, this is a really cool set of tracks that they've built here. I don't know if it's... Uh, done the same as uh, some other fictional street tracks in Gran Turismo, and that they're fictional in that they don't exist IRL. Oh, sorry. So, I am not taking any prisoners in this race. God damn. Um, uh, yeah, like, they obviously don't exist IRL, because no one's made them IRL, but they are built on roads that do exist IRL. Like, I remember, I seem to remember the Roman Seattle tracks from earlier games. I mean, Seattle City was the OG fantasy road course in Gran Turismo games. Don't even at me on that. Um... But they were built on... Oops. Ow. They were built on actual roads that really... Like, you could walk the the roads in Seattle that they did and that they used to design the track. Do you see what I mean? So, anyway, this is a Ferrari 430? 458? It'll be a 458. You know, out drag. Oh, kick bang, sir! This is like Le Mans all over again. Ford absolutely destroying Ferrari. And uh, we are still... Well, actually, we made a long more time up on that lap. 35 seconds now. Uh, what sort of maths will that be? So, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. We have six laps to go. So, if we make up about... Come on, let's get to sixth gear. There we go. Um, if we make up about seven seconds a lap... Oh, no, we'll have to be more than that. For now, please break. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. Please, God, stop. There we go. Relax. Whoa. Don't relax. Relax, don't do it, even when you want to drift it. Relax, don't do it, when you want to drift. Down, down, down. May have changed the lyrics a little bit. Down, down, down. Anyway. So, we're now up behind some, some, some bell end. <laughs> I've given up even calling the AI drivers by their names. They don't deserve it, to be honest with you. So we're now down to 30 seconds. I think we should be able to catch up with the leaders. The problem will be whether we can actually pass them. Because obviously, if we only pass them on the final corner, we'll still have like a 12-mile run to the line, which they'll probably have the advantage on. So we're going to have to... We're going to have to actually concentrate in this race, I think. Thank heavens, an actually semi-competitive race to end this video, hopefully. In before I now pass them with two laps to go and lap them. <laughs> anyway. Daniel Levy, aren't you the chairman of Tottenham Hotspur? Some other, some other football ass, some other, some other helmet from football, just running around in their expensive supercar, being like, ah, I can totally race it. I got a supercar, mate. I got a supercar M9. Yeah, well, I got news for you, son. You don't have any talent, M9. There was a random thing a few days ago. Like my timeline suddenly got like the the thing to be annoyed about on that day was the whole M9 thing. I just thought it came from someone spelling misspelling M8 one day, like, as in mate. You know, the text speak thing. Someone just hit nine instead and was like, ha <laughs> M9. Um, I honestly thought that's what it was, but apparently it is an actual meme thing. Doesn't surprise me. YouTubers having boxing matches is an actual thing now. Ugh. Anyway, before I go full on, old man drafting up behind Jay Larson, the Lamborghini Huracan 610-4-5-6.7-8-9-10, or whatever. Oh, we're just breezing by you, mate. Breezing by you. What's bizarre is that I'm sure some of these cars have a uh, higher top speed than mine. I'll repeat that sentence now that I'm not straining. Um, hey, there you go. Nice little celebratory drift to celebrate the fact I didn't die. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure some of these supercars should have a higher top speed than me Ford. Not that I'm complaining. A little Ford is trucking along. Little, it's not little. You know what I mean. It is trucking away. Love the reflections in the headlights as well. That looks gorgeous. Look at it. Flaring away on the flaring away on the uh, concrete barriers. It's lovely. Anyway, we are coming up on halfway through the race and we are still 18 seconds down on the leaders. So we are up to fourth though. And third place is 15 seconds up the road. So yeah, what might be quite interesting is that the front three appear to have broken away, but all stuck together. So we might actually have a battle for the win that's more than just me and some rat, just one other guy. Which would be nice. 
See, I wouldn't mind this whole concept of the AI sodding off if A, they kept to a consistent pace, as in they weren't really slow and then suddenly really fast out of nowhere. Uh, and also if more than one rabbit AI car per race actually was a thing. Like, it's no fun in real motorsport when one car sods off into the distance and just dominates. So why, why deliberately make your game so the AI does that? Even when the player catches up with them, it's just a 1v1 battle when you could have a 2, 3, 4-way battle. Or maybe even more. Or maybe even have the full grid be competitive and fast, like in Project Cars. I will say, Project Cars 2, much better AI in that they're competitive and they've lost some of their derpy edge from the first Project Cars. Some of it, not all of it. I mean, it's Project Cars, it's part of the charm. Anyway, so we are 12 seconds back from the leader V Peltier, who I'm willing to bet is the Veyron T1000 designated robot driver for this race. And we are nine seconds behind v, uh, W Winter. The, uh, the long winter of discontent is about to rain on his race as we deny him a podium, hopefully. Oh, there they are, there are the leaders. See, I love it on tracks like this where you see it on Formula E tracks as well where there's tight hairpins and you can literally see cars further up the road and you over the wall as they come down the road. Uh, like here, you might see some AI. There they are. Some side-by-side -side battling going on back in the field. That's pretty cool. Um, we just get to see it as we're driving along a totally different part of the race. Um, but uh, yeah, they, they look really close there, but obviously they were accelerating up to speed. We still had to negotiate the really slow corner. But we are gaining back to up to nine seconds now. We should, we should uh, probably catch the leaders. I can just see them in the distance, actually. We are gaining. We are gaining here. And like I say, the difficult bit is going to be, especially if they activate Max Verstappen T-1000 mode, their inner sort of killer droid chip that suddenly gives them all the talents of Earth and Senna. It's a bit like that thing in Metal Gear Solid where you had the genome army of soldiers, which all had, like, crossbred genome therapy from Big Boss's corpse, or whatever the hell Hideo Kojima was babbling on about. I'm now coming up with plot lines for the next Metal Gear Solid. Yeah, forget Metal Gear Survive, forget putting zombies in Metal Gear Solid. We're now going to put street racing in Metal Gear Solid. Metal Gear, Metal Gear Veyron is right there. Actually, it is. Oh, hello. Oh! <laughs> Revenge, motherfucker! Ah, isn't payback a bitch? Oh, that was beautiful. I didn't even mean to do that. I did not even mean to do that. <laughs> We have just angered the T-1000, though. We have just angered the robots. So, um, yeah, maybe not the best thing to do, but we are up to third, so there is that. Oh, God. Oh, God, the T-1000 is angry. It is angry. Oh, it just bl blows back by us. You will not take in front of us. It is not in my programming. What is it? What, what does he learn? What are, those, um, what are those human phrases he learns in Terminator 2? I'm trying to remember. Was it just like... Peace out, dude. No, it's something like that. I'm trying to remember. Don't have a cow or something. No, he doesn't become Bart Simpson. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you see, mate? I can pass you in all different ways. I can literally torpedo you clean off into Narnia, or I can just go around the outside of you. You're just an embarrassment, mate. You're an embarrassment. You're an embarrassment to the robot race. You're an embarrassment to Skynet, mate. <laughs> Sorry, getting all gobby again. Anyway, we are 4.6 seconds down on the leader who's not in a Veyron. I'm curious to see what car he is in. And we are two seconds behind second place, who I think is in a... Is that Ferrari Enzo? I think it's a Ferrari Enzo. I don't know what car the leader would be then. Might be another the Ferrari, the Ferrari, and it's just not being as terrible this time around. The guy's finally got, gone and had a crash. The AI finally gone and had a crash course in how to drive the Ferraris. Right, here we go. Looking for the battle for second. Will it be a battle, or will it be a one-sided demolition? Probably, prob uh, yeah, it, it was the latter. It was very much the latter there. I think the leader is in the Ferrari. It must be the top speed, then, that's keeping it out front. Has to be. There's not anything else. It's definitely not driver talent, I'll tell you that. Look how slow you are! You don't need to- Oops, maybe you do need to break through there. <laughs> There's me like, you don't need to break through this! Crash! Well, maybe you do a little bit. Anyway. Oh, God. Oh. Get out of the way. Oh, you peanut. You're so rubbish, you're making me crash. That's my excuse here. We are clearing off from the others, so maybe... Ah, yeah. That is that is what we're going to have to contend with. <laughs> it's it's like someone sped up the film. It's like, oh, I may be passing for the... Oh, bye then. 
He's suddenly gone from 0 to 3 seconds in front in one straight. That's crazy. That's what hybrid acceleration does for your kids. That's what being good to the environment does for you. It makes you go really, really fast. And then again, our car is no slouch either. The Enzo and the Veyron are still lurking back there, so... Came back in. He was four seconds ahead by the end of the straight. That is ridiculous. Right, you know what? We are going to have to make the pass at the start of the... Or as, as soon around the final lap as possible, or as soon as possible. Because we're not going to be able to hold him off for that entire straight. I mean, I know the, the start finish line is halfway down that straight. But even so, that was ridiculous. Plus, I have a sneaky feeling he may have just acted his max for Stappenometer. Right then. Editing Adam, I'll leave it up to you as to whether you want to deploy epic music. We might be heading for another one of those classic AJ Plays GT League finishes. Here we go. Strap yourselves in. I've literally strapped myself in. Right, this is where we have to be good. I know we're good. I mean, racing soft tyres probably helps out quite a lot there. Just a little bit, you know. Oh, God. This is actually not a very good camera for these for this track. But I am going to use it for now. We are gaining nonetheless. Gaining. Oh, God. Where, where are you going, mate? Where are you going? You don't need to break there. In fact, you do. And we are in the lead. All right, we are in the lead. Oh, oh my. Whoa. Car's wobbling around a bit there. Right, let off a little bit there so we don't just pile off into the wall. He's arsing around back there. But remember, he will come flying back up behind us and probably alongside us at the next straightaway. Oh, if we can break. Car doesn't have the best brakes, actually. So, there we go, around the corner. Right, away we go. How long can we stay in front of the, uh, the Ferrari, the Ferrari? There it is. It's lurking. It's lurking. Has its hyperdrive system activated? Yes, it has. Yes, its hyperdrive system's activated. Yeah, oh my god. Jesus Christ. Holy, holy bananas. That's insane in Celebrate. It's already over a second and a half ahead. And that was us leading out of the final corner. Right. We're fucking on now. Let's do this. Come on, little Ford. Come on, big Ford. Everything you have. Everything out of that big old American V8 back there. First off, we need to get the corner right. Lay on the brakes. It's late on the brakes. We dare. Oh, God. Turn, 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 turn. There we go. There we go. There we go. That was a good exit. That was a good exit. We're going to have to pass him as soon as possible. We cannot wait till the last corner. Or even like some corners before the last corner. That's why we passed him last time. Let's see what we can do through here. Gonna have to drive the lap of my life here. Shit just got real, folks. Here we go. Right, we're up behind him. We're gonna make the pass to the next corner. I think we'll be a little bit too far back. Or will we? Or will we? We're closing in. Here we go. Right. Oh, he blocks. Oh, he blocks. Oh, he's going full Arrow Camera Roller now. I am the courageous Austin Dillon. Or something like that. Even though I'm driving a Ford. Anyway. Oh, he's so slow through here. He's so slow. He's so slow. This is where we take advantage. We're banging fenders. We are banging fenders. We're through to the lead. But I'm in the wrong gear. No, he's, he's braked again. He's braked again. But do you know the problem? This is where we passed him last time. And it wasn't it wasn't enough. Right, come on. He has to... Oh, yeah. He, he has to break through there. Right. This These has to be the best two corners we've ever done. And the first one, it isn't, it really isn't. Right, just keep the pedal mashed, keep it. No, 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 don't drift. Don't drift now, you stupid car. Okay, here we go. Brace yourselves. We're gonna have to somehow fight off the Millennium Falcon. Here he comes, here he comes. Which way does he go first? Which way does he go first? He can go left. Oh, he punts us. Has he made a mistake? We threw the block. He took his shot and he missed. Where's the finish line? Come on! Come on! It's a drag race! Oh! Sideways, side by side across the finish line. Woo! I take back most of the things I said about the LaFerrari in the last race. Goodness me. If nothing else, it's incredibly fast in a straight line. And that almost was enough. But ironically, the big heavy American car with the big American V8 had the far better handling. Let me just sip my tea. Ugh. <coughs> Actually, that didn't work. My tea's gone cold. <laughs> that meme did not work. But anyway, that's a sweep, actually. We've actually swept the series. Well done, little Ford. 
Yes, I love this car. I tell you what, it was it was really good when I tested out in the MR challenge, and I thought, do you know what? I am going to save it for the premium sports lounge. I, re I reckon it'll be a perfect choice. And do you know what? It was. If anything, it was too. It was ridiculously overpowered for the second race, but for the first one, well, just about all right. Pretty pretty easy win. And that final race, holy, holy, holy cow, and chicken, and I O baboon, and I am weasel. Quite frankly, um, before I run out of references to old cartoons, uh, I'm gonna uh, gonna start quoting Rocco's Modern Life in a minute. Um, so. Give this video a big old thumbs up if you have enjoyed it. I really hope you have. It's been a good old series. It's been a good old series so far. I really enjoyed it. And we still have a few more episodes to go. We have the La Festa Cavallino still to go. And we have a couple of the endurance races to go. The Group 3 race at Monza. And the LMP1 prototype race at the Nürburgring. And I tell you what. Given some of the thrilling finishes we've had in regular short races in GT League so far. I am not. I am going to have about 55 heart attacks per race for those enduros. If it keeps going like this. But um. In the meantime, comment down below uh, your favourite supercars, your favourite supercars, uh, your favourite cars, quite just favourite cars. <laughs> Fuck it, just go with that. I like the Ford GT, really like the new Ford GT, really like the uh, the Ferrari, the Ferrari. And uh, you'll see hopefully how much next time out we should be racing it. But um, leave your favourite cars down in the comment section below. Simple question for you today. Subscribe, hit that big red button there if you're new around here. Give the video a thumbs up like I said. And I will see you next time in the armbar arcade. But for now, I'll have to have a cold shower.